should do. We should do the crumbling watch and spine. Oh, show. that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> good choice. So that's uh, old Arcavian foothills. Right? Foothills. Yeah. Yeah, I I've maybe been here once recently. Not on this. Yeah. Oh, it's been on this character. Okay. I think I was I really showing it off. The bounty, I think. Um, I don't even do bounties anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, um, Muzalek has a spawn point out here, though. Oh, really? It's, yeah, he, he spawns at the watch. I think it's the one out-of-the-way place he has that's still in the game. Or, I don't even think he had anything taken out, actually. Alright, next on the list. Let's go. Okay, next on the list is we talk about movies, because I don't know that I'm actually going to upload our previous session we did, and we talked about our favorite movies, and I mentioned at least my, my least favorite movie ever. I mean, if you want to do honestly, that again. Honestly, I can't recall what it was. So uh, good it, talk. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very memorable conversation. It was... Uh, <laughs> I remember, I remember our favorites, because I said Blade Runner, and you said, um, Usual Suspects. And then we talked about Primer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Primer, Primer's one of those movies. That's spawned here. Huh? That's who spawned up in the Crumbling Watch. Oh, really? Cause I saw I saw the bones flying and I was like, oh, that was a skeletal guy. Oh jeez, he is there definitely. Yeah. Let's pop that horror for us nightmare. So yeah, we were talking about Primer, how Ow. <laughs> <laughs> how Primer's like it's a different movie every time you see it because you find something new. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't oh. like me. Come on, boy. Come here. Uh, I'm in place. I don't know what's going on. Uh, he's following me. <laughs> Am I alive? You, you are in my game so far. Oh, cool. <laughs> Am I alive? Is this real life? <laughs> I just don't know, dude. Or is it just a fantasy? Okay, form one's done. Nice. I hope I helped. <laughs> I am, I'm sort of moving south right now. Okay. Okay, here you are, you're right next to me. Nice. I don't know if that's actually true. Okay. Ooh, I know for a fact I almost died there. I almost died as well, getting hit by rocks. I don't think he can come through this doorway, so. <laughs> button <laughs> my finger slipped on the Electra's flash freeze button, which oh there we go. Oh I think he's coming for me now. He is. He cluster he cluster banged me with uh sky shards. Oh. My portal was up. So anyways, um yeah in Primer there are th there are scenes like that that one where they're like looking for a cat. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. and it's like, oh, he gained all that health back because he killed me. And I didn't, yeah. I didn't put a, a horror frost ointment on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's like, they're, they're wearing those sweaters that they have when they go out at night. But it's like, I don't, I know, I know we mentioned this. It's like, we don't quite know when that takes place in what timeline and with... Like, what version of them it is. No, you don't. Yeah. Can I shoot him from up here? Awesome! <laughs> of course, a group of enemies spawn right next to me. And I'm dying because <laughs> of it. Oh, no, I think he was killing me there. Um, yeah, he threw I'm sky shards at me. I want to take out the priests. Between the uh, device dress, which isn't a good time.
<laughs> so yeah, it's it's a mystery that movie. Like, why? Like, when is that? Why is that? Like, just what's going on there? Yeah. Shut up, you oh, back hey, here. My, my internet return is just in time for us to lay the killing blow. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Glad to help. We did it. I got a legendary too, because I did work. <laughs> you didn't die like a fool like me. That is true. Let's see, what, what shoulder pads did I get off him? Crap. Staunching of the fox. Ooh, nicely achieved. Butcher of Burwich. I got one of those floating around. Yep, I got, I got this. Woohoo! Look out. <laughs> oh yeah, and a pair of those. <laughs> and then, yeah, my least favorite movie uh, is Star Trek in the Darkness. <laughs> Oh yes, I remember that now. Yes, yes. I could I could probably do like a two hour video. A video longer than the movie explaining everything wrong with that movie. <laughs> Bet you're so happy that there's this, well maybe not even this maybe it's confirmed at this point, I don't know. But they're making a third one. Uh it's coming out in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Star Trek Beyond. I love that series. Yeah, Star Trek Beyond. The Enterprise gets destroyed and the crew is marooned on the planet. Yep. Exciting stuff. They're destroying the flagship ship. <laughs> so you have Shadow Strike obviously on this character, right? Yes. It looks like Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you go charging across the battlefield like <laughs> it was Blitz. That's funny. Awesome. Oh, okay. I'm going to assume uh, a trap. Do you cut out that there again? Okay. Assume that you're a Trekkie. Is that a wise assumption? I am not. I am not actually a Star Trek fan. I love oh. Wrath of Khan and The Voyage Home. And I like the, you know, original series movies. TNG movies are crap. Um. But I'm a I'm kind of a movie buff, so like I I look at how like I enjoy like deconstructing movies and and talking about how movies are made and trying to figure out choices that creative people made in those movies. So that's why I'm like that's why I talk about Star Trek in the Darkness. It's less about it being Star Trek and more about it being a really bad movie. <laughs> And it, it goes beyond it being Star Trek. It's all about, like, the story and and how various things are, are just don't work in that movie. <laughs> it is essentially, like, part of it is is, is because it's a Rathacon remake, essentially. And they did a very, very piss-poor job on doing that. Yeah. Like, I have probably seen mm, maybe about three or four episodes of the show. <laughs> oh. Maybe. For my, my, like, slower... Oh, man. I got jumped on there. For my like slower, more thinky science fiction, I tend science fiction shows. I tend to go to Babylon Five. Oh yeah, good time. I'm a Babylon Five, and I'm happy. I actually have trouble convincing people to start watching Babylon Five because the first season not all that fantastic. Yeah, the first season's a little weaker. Um, yeah. Even though I kind of like Sinclair more than Sheridan. Oh yeah, Sinclair's great, but the plot and 
kind of the supporting cast at that point. Even though it's the same people for the everything. Yeah, they um, there's like you have to wait for the character development to start, really. Yeah. Like Jakar is just like a mustache twirling villain at that point. <laughs> And, like, Londo's comic relief. And then they completely switch as they go forward. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention that the first episode with the side work was so funny. Yeah, the, the Ironheart story? Yeah. And it's like, Bester shows up, and it's like, man, it's weird to see Walter Koenig in sci-fi, and he's not playing, like, a Chekhov imitation. <laughs> like, he acted. It was amazing. But then, yeah, as it, as it goes on, it does definitely get better. And I think There's season... Here. He, there is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think season three is, like, the peak of the show. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because season four, they had to, like, rush it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, the ending to the Shadow War, Forlorn War was very sad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, like, a couple episodes. And they said... They actually... Um, JMS actually said that would have gone on for an episode more. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been more like Minbari Civil War stuff. Mm -hmm. I did like um, all of the Earth and Mars stuff, though. Yeah. I thought that was well done. The Earth Civil War stuff is really good. Like, yeah. really good. <laughs> and then Season 5, it's less about the story and more about it being a victory lap. Yeah. Have you seen um a trap called The Crusade? Yeah. Um I'm so sad that that show got canceled cuz it was starting to get pretty good. It was actually really really impressive toward the end and then oh. Um so speaking of Walter Koenig, he was supposed to be in an episode in that season, the last Bester episode. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where he was given the script and he had his lines memorized. And they were, like, prepping to film it when the show got canned. So his whole... Oh. So, like, probably what would have been the best, bester story got shit-canned because TNT are a bunch of assholes. Yeah. Oh, I know a place. Tomb of Korvac. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So we can go to the Astrakar and Rift and then head back a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's so, it's so sad that that show never took off. I want to flip the record first. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> yeah, like, the Crusade and Firefly, the fact that both of those got cancelled just kind of ruined me. <laughs> yeah, well, Firefly I couldn't get into, unfortunately. But oh, Crusade I, got, I definitely got into. Um, like, for Crusade, like, a couple scripts got put online and up for auction and stuff, including the finale, which would have been... Gideon listens to the apocalypse box and it tells him about you know certain events going on and he follows the 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 advice it gives and it eventually leads to him finding the ship that destroyed the uh whatever his former ship was that like human sh yeah the the human shadow hybrid that destroyed his initial ship and in the end the spec ops for the earth alliance hunt him down and the last scene was envisioned to be the crosshairs of a sniper scope on his head and then it it goes to black and then you hear the shot go off and that's how they would have ended season one huh. and then season two and three like maybe even in season two they would have found the cure for the plague and it would have became like the oh we have to stop earth from developing shadow tech and the the excalibur would like go rogue go independent sort of like how b5 did it in the show in the first show yeah that sounds all amazing. <laughs> yep. And TNT was like, well, this isn't going to work because it takes... Blah, 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 blah. They just didn't get it. And they wanted to interfere constantly. Like, they actually were like, you know, maybe she, maybe Darina should get raped in an episode. That'd be dramatic. And it's like, you don't know what you're talking about. This is Babylon 5. <laughs> <laughs> And then, actually, I don't know if you've heard about Babylon Prime. Like, the original uh, arc for Babylon 5 was going to be the station gets destroyed at the end of the five years. And that's when Sinclair 
and Delenn go back in time to steal Babylon 4. And then they come back to the present, and that's the war Zathras is talking about. Because the Minbari, Minbari warrior cast oh, would have sold, oh, yeah, out, yeah. sold out the station to the shadows. Hmm. And then what would have happened if it would have been renamed Babylon Prime, and then it would have been five more years of shadow stuff. And then it would have been like Sinclair's really old, naturally, at that point, and that's when he goes back to complete the stable time loop. Huh. But unfortunately, Michael O'Hare, the reason he quit the show was because he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. And he he didn't want to slow down the production at all. So he, he left the show. That's why he left. And they kept that under wraps for 10 years. <laughs> 